This is seventh grade math, beginning chapter seven, lesson one, equations and inequalities. And from the notes that we took in class, we've learned what equations are. Equations is a sentence stating that two inequalities are equal. An equation must have an equal sign. A solution is the value of a variable that makes an equation true. Inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares inequalities using these symbols. This one is less than this one is greater than this symbol is an equal sign this one would be less than or equal to because you have the less than sign and then part of the equal sign underneath it. So less than or equal to. Then we have greater than or equal to. So here are your examples. Determine if 4, 5, or 6 is the solution of the following equation. 2n plus 5 equals 7. So on your notes and on your homework, you must show attempting to solve it for each one of these. You may automatically know what it is, but you're going to have to show all of your work for 4, 5, and 6 for those numbers to see which one is the solution. So I'm going to plug in 4 for n, so 2 times 4 plus 5 equals 17. Again, you must show all of your work. So 2 times 4 is 8, plus 5 equals 17. 13 equals 17. It does not equal. So you just draw a slender line in the equal sign because it does not equal. You would put no. So we proved that 4 was not the solution. So let's try 5. 2 times 5 plus 5 equals 17. 10 plus 5 equals 17. 15 equals 17. It does not. That is not the solution. So let's plug in 6. 2 times 6 plus 5 equals 17. 12 plus 5 equals 17. 17 equals 17. Yes, 17, um, 6 is your solution. Okay, so just like we showed here on your homework, you're going to have to prove each one of these to be the solution or not to be the solution. You must show all your work. The last example. Determine if negative 24, negative 48, or negative 72 are solutions for y over 12 plus negative 8 is less than or equal to negative 13. Okay. So let's substitute each number in for the variable. Negative 24 over 12. 12 plus a negative 8 is less than or equal to a negative 13. This becomes negative 2 plus a negative 8 is less than or equal to a negative 13. That would be a negative 10 is less than or equal to a negative 13. Now before you think, oh yes, that's a solution, it's really not a solution. 
think about your number line. Negative 10 is actually bigger than negative 13. Would you rather owe me $13 or would you rather owe me $10? Because $10 is, is greater than the negative $13. So this one still is not a solution. So let's try negative 48. So negative 48 over 12 plus a negative 8 is less than or equal to negative 13. This becomes negative 4 plus a negative 8 is less than or equal to a negative 13. That would be a negative 12 is less than or equal to a negative 13, and it is not. Remember, negative 12 is greater than a negative 13. Think about your number lines. If you don't remember it, draw a number line out. Okay, so the last one, negative 72 over 12 plus a negative 8 is less than or equal to a negative 13. This is a negative 6 plus negative 8 less than or equal to a negative 13. This would be a negative 14 is less than or equal to a negative 13. Yes, that is your solution. Because negative 14 is less than a negative 13. And if you can't understand that, draw a number line. Okay, like here's 0, there's negative 10, negative 15, negative 20. So anything that's closest to zero is the bigger number. Okay, so those are your notes. Let's look at our homework. I believe we're doing the even numbers. Determine the solution of each equation from the given list. So you're going to show all your work. Okay, you're going to prove that they are or are not a solution. So, number two, we have 9w plus 17 equals negative 1. I'm going to sub in a negative 3. So, 9 times a negative 3 plus 17 equals negative 1. And you're going to work all the way down until you can prove yes or no. And then, no matter if the first one is it, you still have to prove every single problem. So then we're going to take 9w plus 17 equals negative 1. We're going to substitute in negative 2. 9 times negative 2 plus 17 equals negative 1. Solve it out and see if it is. Yes or no. But show all of your work. 9w plus 17 equals negative 1. And then we're going to substitute the negative 1. 9 times negative 1 plus 17 equals negative 1. So this is how you're going to do it. Prove all of them right or prove them wrong. You have to show all of your work. Okay, let's look at number 4. Five K plus two point nine equals three point nine. Okay, we're gonna solve each of these. So five times zero point one plus two point nine equals three point nine. So work it out, prove it right or wrong. Five K plus two point nine equals three point nine. This time we're going to substitute in 0 0.2. So 5 times 0 0.2 plus 2.9 equals 3.9. Continue solving it. And then we have 5, oops, 5k plus 2.9 equals 
we're going to set the two lens. Five times zero point three plus two point nine equals three point nine. Squeezing it on there. So you need to write all of this down and solve each of them. Put yes if it's the solution and no if it is not the solution. Number six. Determine which numbers are solutions to the inequalities. So kind of the same thing, except now we're gonna work with fractions since we didn't learn number two had one, but okay, so let's look at number six. We have r over four minus two. These are inequalities. That's the difference. Remember, equal is this uh, equation and inequalities would have be greater than, less than, or equal to. Okay, that's the difference. 13. Greater than or equal to 13. So let's substitute 56. Now we have 56 over 4 minus 2 is greater than or equal to 13. Prove it right, prove it wrong. And over here you're going to have, um, I'm just going to go ahead and start subbing things in to take out number 7. 60 divided by 4 minus 2 is greater than or equal to 13. Solve it out. 64 divided by 4 minus 2 is greater than or equal to 13. Again, show all of your work and put yes or no underneath each of them. Number 8, the same way. Look at number 10. Stephanie and Chris were given the same reading assignment in class. Stephanie read 28 pages of her novel and has three times as many pages left to read as her friend Chris. The reading assignment was a total of 55 pages. Use the equation 28 plus 3p equals 55 to determine p, the number of pages Chris has left to read. Okay, so here is your equation. Number 10, I gave it to you, 28 plus 3p equals 55. Okay. I'm going to solve this equation. And I'm not going to... Oh, yes. I'm sorry. They do want you to guess and check and revise your strategy. So I'm going to give you some numbers to try. Like they, get, they gave you three up here. I'm going to give you three to try. And you're going to have to write it out three times and try. Because it wants you to use the guess, check, and revise strategy. So you're going to try 3, 6, and 9. Okay? Try 3, 6, and 9. So you're going to substitute in 28 plus 3 times 3 equals 55. And then over here, you'll write 28 plus 3 times Six equals 55. Solve it, yes or no. And then you will have 28 plus 3 times 9 equals 55. Work all of those out and see which one is the correct answer and which one is your solution. Okay. Let's look at the back. So inequality is an equal. Um, let's see. Dolores wants to purchase some beads that each cost twelve dollars and fifty cents, and a bracelet that costs thirty dollars. She has eighty dollars. Use the guess and check. So we're going to do exactly what we've been doing on all of these. So you you're going to have to, unless she says something different in class, 
you're going to have to guess and check. Okay, so it's the exact same thing that we've been doing. Here is your, all of these are your equations. And all of these, you will need to guess and check. Revise, guess and check. Revise, guess and check. Okay, so you're going to have to do the exact same thing that we've been doing on the front and show us three numbers guessing and checking to prove them right or wrong. If you have any questions, you can ask them on Google Classroom or we'll be in the, in the morning at 7.15 for tutoring.